Thanks, Jim. Justin Stone here with EliteBaseball.tv. And today we're going to talk about developing your in-season routine to make sure that our swing mechanics stay up to par after all this time in the off-season building up what we're going to do taking into the year. What I feel like happens all the time is we spend all this time, effort, and money in the off-season getting our swing ready for, the, for the, the regular season. So we're doing lessons, we're of course we're practicing with our teams, and all of a sudden game time comes, and we leave that all by the wayside and say, well, we're ready for the games, let's go play. Let's transition into a different phase of what we're thinking about in baseball and softball, and that's just competing. Now while competing is a different phase, and it definitely needs to be addressed, what is my approach to this pitcher? What am I looking for during my at-bats? based on my strengths and weaknesses. We also want to make sure that our mechanics are maintained throughout the year, and that all that time and effort we've spent on building our swing doesn't go away once the season starts. Now, at the beginning of the year, all these mechanics are fresh. We're coming off of our training situation. Hopefully, we've built our best swing, and that's what we're taking into the season with us. But over a period of time, if these drills and body patterns aren't readdressed, if they're not refreshed to the body. Eventually, our old swing characteristics, which are just naturally ingrained in our DNA, are starting to come back to the surface once again. And the unfortunate piece of this that I know from training about 5,000 athletes a year, 99.9% .9 of them come in here with a lot of swing flaws. Very rarely, and I won't say ever, because there's always an exception, but rarely, if ever, does somebody come in here that has 100% of the body patterns of what we would consider correct and efficient in their swing. So we all have little miscues that we try to keep dormant through our drill work. In the off season, hopefully we've done that. But over that period of two or three weeks now that we're competing and we're no longer refreshing ourselves with these drills, those bad swing flaws, those habits that we carry with us in our DNA, are going to come back and that's when the dreaded slump comes in and the parent gets very stressed out the child is upset and they run to their hitting instructor and say fix me i'm broken when in reality all of this could have been alleviated with a very short amount of drill time that you can do on your off days or even prior to a game so what i tell players to do in their their in-season routine is take the greatest hits version of what you feel like you do during the off season that can refresh the body to keep those improper patterns dormant. So you might have two or three go-to drills that really feel good for you and develop the swing pattern that you're looking for. I don't have time, 15 or 20 minutes before a game, to do any complete lesson of C work, maybe some dry work, front toss and batting practice. But what we can do is shorten those rep schemes in the time and still hit all those drills. Rather than spending five or 10 minutes on a drill, we might do five or 10 reps. It just takes a minute or two. It's more important to refresh the body and the mind often than it is doing something one day a week on a, a very long time period. What I mean by that is you would get a lot more out of these body patterns and drills by just doing them five minutes every day every other day, before a practice, before a game, and even doing those patterns dry, then you will ever get a saying, well, I'm going to do a refresher lesson with my instructor one day a week. We have Mondays that are normally off days. I'm going to hit that instructor for one hour once a week. And then the rest of the week, I'm just going to compete and play. It doesn't work that way. Especially with the younger athletes, we have so many new muscle cells in the body that every day just from growing, we need to refresh the brain, sending those signals to the body more often in short bursts of time than we do over a long period of time less often. So what this means is you can keep your swing in tip shape form of what we're doing in the off season by just five, seven, up to 10 minutes of work every other day, introducing it right before we'll keep it fresh for the mind, right before a practice, but that's the way to develop your in-season routine. Take the two or three greatest hits versions of your drills and do them in very short bursts for five to 10 reps. And I guarantee you at that point, you're gonna have a lot better longevity of those good swing mechanics taking place over a longer period of time 
before you feel like, hey, we have some negative things that are starting to come back to the surface and I've got to run and spend money with my instructor once again. So that's something that you can do on your own. Develop your routine. Talk about it and then execute it before your games and practices. Until next time, this is Justin Stone with EliteBaseball.tv. Come check us out. Free for 48 hours. Come see us and, and get all those drills specific for your swing and check it out today. Until next time, we'll see you on the field.